Hello, welcome to Prosy Technologies. I am Prakash. In this session, we are going to discuss about blob storage. Before understanding blob storage, let's understand what is structured and unstructured data. Structured data. Rather boring you with the definition, let's straight away see their type so that you can easily correlate number, date, and string. These are the types of structured data, and their corresponding examples are one to three, which is a number. October 28, 2019 is a date, name and address are the examples of string. Now we have all these structured data, but the question is where to store them. That is, what is the source? The most frequently and widely used structured data source is SQL databases. Hope you are clear about structured data. Let's understand what is unstructured data. Their types are images, audio files, video files, and text files. So Microsoft has provided a special storage source for this unstructured data that is called Blob Storage. Blob has the acronym of Binary Large Object. They are used primarily to hold multimedia objects like videos, audios, text files. So overall, it has a very simple definition as Blob is a collection of binary data. Now we're gonna see a demo how to create Blob and store unstructured data. Let's log into Azure Portal. In this Azure portal, we're going to search for storage accounts in the search box. Click on storage accounts. This opens up into a new window which shows a list of storage accounts. So we're going to add a new one. Click on add. So in this new window, give a unique storage account name. Select a location. Then we're going to search for the blob storage in the account kind. Select blob storage. Then review and create it. So the validation has been paused now. So create again. So deployment under process. New blob storage account has been successfully deployed on cloud. So go to the resources. And here you can see that proxy blob which is the new blob location has been created. Now click on the container. Container is a special kind of folder to store unstructured data. So we're going to create a new container here. Click on the add container to create a new container. Give a unique name then click on OK. A new container with the name source container has been created now. Click and open the folder. Now we're going to upload new files here. So click on the upload button. So this opens up into a small dialog box. Just map to your local directory and select those files. I have a picture, a text file and a video file. Now click on upload. We can see the files are being uploaded. Yes, it's done. Now we have three different types of uh, unstructured data available in our container. Let's access one of the file. I'm selecting the picture, copy the URL. Let's Get into another window, copy paste the URL and access the file. You can see that the file is not accessible. I tell you why. So go back to the Azure portal. By default, container access level is in private mode. So go to the change access level button, click on it. So this public access level is in private, change to container. Click OK. Yes, it's done. Now go back to the window and uh, check for the same file that you can access or not. Copy the URL. Copy paste in another window. Yes. Click on it. Yes. Now you can see that the image has been loaded. So in this way, we can create a blob storage account and we can uh, store a number of uh, unstructured data files. Now we have come to the end of this blob storage session. Thank you. Support me by subscribing to my channel for more videos. Have a great day.